Welcome back to Virginia this morning. Did you know that up to 50 million Americans suffer with acne each and every year? And with the added stress of this new normal due to the COVID-19 pandemic, even more people are expected to experience problems. Joining us with professional advice on how to battle some of these skin issues, Dr. Rachel Nazarian, a leading New York based dermatologist joining us live by satellite this morning. It's great to see you, doctor. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. We're learning about so many new things during this pandemic and during this time. And of course, it's unfortunate, but now we're learning about a new method of acne that we're going to have to worry about. Everybody's calling maskne. This is something that's really becoming um, front and center for a lot of folks. Yes, it is. So maskne is a type of acne mechanica. That's what we call it in dermatology. And this is acne that's caused by rubbing and friction and heat. And so a lot of people are experiencing this now, now that they're wearing masks. This is their new normal, and they have to wear them all the time for protection for COVID-19. Now, of course, other things that can make acne worse are increased heat, humidity, bacteria, all of these things that come from our breath and we're rebreathing on our faces underneath these masks. So this has been a real problem for people that maybe have had acne before or people that have had previously very nice skin um, before wearing these masks. What is it we should be doing, doctor, to be aware of this, where the new normal is we are wearing masks, um, you're going to encounter this, or is there extra care that you need to take to clean and treat the area? Yes, actually, so what we're recommending is that everyone pick up a skincare regimen. And so this just is typically three or four parts. You have a gentle cleanser that you use. You use a nice anti-inflammatory moisturizer. This is something that maybe contains ingredients such as green tea, chamomile, niacinamide, which is part of the vitamin B family. And then finishing typically with a product that has science-backed, uh, medicine-based active ingredients. So look for something like benzoyl peroxide, salicylic acid, adapalene. These are all ingredients you can find over the counter. Now, if you're overwhelmed with all the different options that are on the market right now, which is completely understandable, you know, look to, to companies like Proactive. These guys have been around for a long time. They already have curated systems that you can look to depending on your skin type. For example, Proactive MD contains adapalene, um, and it's something that you can do nightly as your skin adjusts to it. The important thing, of course, to remember here is that you're not going to see improvement overnight. This is something that takes four to six weeks to see improvement. And then you're going to want to continue on your regimen so that you can hold on to those nice results. And Dr. Nazarian, we went right for the situation of, of maskne or the acne mechanica that you were talking about. But of course, we've been dealing with stress and it's almost a double whammy because stress certainly impacts the overall picture as well. You're absolutely right. So the classic stress hormone we call cortisol and cortisol, when that is released, sends signals to the skin to rev up oil production, which is a primary reason people will find that they have more acne during times of stress. But I'll find that actually because things are a little bit uncertain now, people don't have their routine that can add to their stress as well. If you can really commit to a good skincare regimen, it's really a form of self-care. And that's something we need more of these days. You know, it's something where you can feel a sense of stability and also a sense of predictability because if you're using a product that is science-backed, you can guarantee that with time, you're going to see improvement. And perhaps there's a silver lining here too, in that if you are not already doing a skincare regimen and you begin one, you'll have the chance to see results. And to be quite honest, many of us are not putting on makeup daily like we were before. If you're working from home, that might be a step that you are able to skip and you're giving your skin a little bit of a break. You're absolutely right. This is a moment in time where we can skip the makeup, skip all the extra stuff that sometimes makes our skin uncomfortable if we're working from home. And we actually might be able to really gravitate towards a routine that's going to benefit us, not just now, but really for the rest of our lives, because we're investing in our own skin health. I mean, what, what's really better than that? Exactly. And Dr. Nazari, in this time of year, even though d dermatologists would re recommend it year round, sunscreen comes into play. Certainly we're applying that more often as well. Are there any tips that you can offer for things we should look for now that we will be wearing masks in tandem with more sunscreen? Yes, absolutely. So whether you're going out and you're wearing a mask or you're staying in and you're without a mask, 
the ultraviolet rays that come from the sun can penetrate even windows. These are rays that can cause skin cancer, that can cause premature skin aging. Um, so you want to really look for any product, either a chemical or a physical block or something like titanium or zinc based are really great places to start. And they're very gentle on the skin because even though you may feel like you're protected in the house, you're getting an awful lot of damage over time, especially people that like to work next to next to windows so they can feel a little bit like they're getting a sense of the outside. It's important not to be unprotected right now. And doctor, I'm peppering you with questions, but I have one last one. When we're taking care of the cloth masks, if you're choosing to wear that sort of face covering, is there anything we should consider in how those are cleaned in terms of what's next to your skin? Should we be paying uh, extra attention with a certain type of detergent, maybe from a dermatologist's perspective? Yes, and there's a different reason for this too. I mean, since we know that sweat and bacteria can actually contribute to acne formation, that's one reason you really wanna to commit to cleaning those masks more regularly. We also know that fragrance can sometimes be an irritant for skin, which is the last thing you need right now. So look for a detergent that's fragrance free. There's some really great brands out there. They usually come in nice white bottles that signify that there's no extra added fragrance or perfume. Those are the best ones to use for cleaning your mask, hopefully on a daily. Well, some great insights. Be sure to, of course, have that SPF protection year round. But as we're doing it this time of year, be sensitive to that. Clean those masks. And it's time maybe to consider the skincare regimen if you're not already doing it. Yes, absolutely. This is a great time to commit to your skin health because I really do feel like it correlates with self-care. And we need so much of that right now. That's absolutely true. It was great talking with you. Thank you for the insights today, doctor. Thank you so much. Absolutely appreciate the insight. It is Acne Awareness Month. And one of the things many of us are dealing with is this mask knee. So some great insights there to uh, help us put our best face forward. For more information, you can visit online, wtbr.com slash VTM later today. We'll have a direct link to more information.